Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a free Minecraft Pocket Edition server. This works on 0.16.0, 0.16.1, and also future updates. Now sadly, iOS users, this is only for Android, but hold up a second, if your friend is using an Android tablet, and he creates the server, you can still join if you're playing on iOS iOS users, you're probably best off sticking to the No Vanilla app, which is also on the App Store for iOS users. Anyway, today we're going to be using the app called Multiplayer for Minecraft. I have reviewed this in the past, it was extremely popular, but a lot has changed since I did that video. I think I did that video around 0 0.11, 0 0.12, so a very long time ago. Now if this video does help you out, then be sure to thumbs it up. I also know you guys will be saying, hey Echo, what's the point of this? We have Realms now. Well, this is completely free. There's a free app and a paid version. It's up to you, but the free one is just as good as the paid version. So I recommend grabbing that. Top tip, best thing you should do is create yourself a world. You can use your existing worlds. For example, I could use my Let's Play world, but we're just gonna create a brand new world called Test World. Oops, that's not how you spell Test World. Test World. And I'm going to simply just create this world, which is going to generate just a brand new seed. So once this is done, you don't even need Minecraft Pocket Edition anymore. You can simply close down Minecraft Pocket Edition. And I'm going to the app on the top left, which says Blockman for Multiplayer. But on the App Store, it's called Multiplayer for Minecraft. If we click on this, don't worry because it's going to be a little bit confusing when you first check this out for yourself. But it's kind of easy to pick up, so you shouldn't have any problems. So let me explain to you some of the basic things. On the bottom left, you can see we've got server, the next section is games, we've got a plus, social media, and me. So what you can see here is other people on servers with their friends. The guy at the top has three people out of six, so the right hand side tells you how many people are playing. Um, it says what version they're on, so the guy at the top is playing mini games on version 0.16.1. The dude below him is playing survival on 0.16.1. If we go down, this uh, lady here who has the emerald thing is playing survival on 0.15.9. So there's literally thousands of different ones to choose from. And if you don't have any friends, this is a good way to make friends. Um, you can see the top if we click all game modes, you can do survival, creative, PVP, or mini games. I also click the top right, it's got versions. You can actually select all versions or your version only. So for example, if you just want to join people who have 0.16.1, you can select that. Now I'm not going to be joining anybody else's server. I'm going to be showing you how to create your own. But also they've got games as well. So if you click on survival games and you click get ready, it will put you into a game where you can fight each other. But go back again, you've also got Sky Wars as well. They're really fun to check out, so I recommend checking it. You've also got social as well where you can pretty much make friends. Sadly, I don't have any friends. And then we go on to me, okay? My name on this is just Echo Soldier, which is why at the start of the video, my name was changed to Echo Soldier. It's important to keep updated here because you can have followers, following, and your playmates as well. So always add your friends. It means you'll know when they're online and you can play with them. And you can also talk to them as well. So if I go to, v you can buy VIP and stuff. You've got a store where you can buy certain things which can be used for like um, survival games. The main thing here, guys, is when I go to my resources, this is important. Now, specifically, you can use your Let's Play world if you want to, but I'm using my test world, and you can click use. I'm not going to click that just yet. You've also got server location. Obviously, I'm in the UK, so I select Europe. For me, it defaultly selected uh, Japan. Uh, that's like that's a bad idea. Make sure you select like a local area. Basically, you guys can see it says delay. The one with the lowest delay is the best for you. So make sure you do select them. Um, what else do we have in here? You've got account settings and much, much more. Now, if you can see here, if I click this plus right in the middle, you can see quick in, which will, I believe, quick, quickly join a game, or you can go create server. Now, this will create your own server, and you can change the name of the server to whatever you want. Let's just say, for example, I wanted it to be... Um, I don't know. I don't know what we could do here. Let's just try to say survival, maybe. Survival would be a good idea. Let's just do survival fun. Survival fun. And then you've got players. Now you can determine how many you want. So you can have up to 10 if you want to, which is exactly the same as realms. But I'm just going to leave it to 6 because it's probably the best option. Then you've got server type. Now you must select server type. So I'm a survival player, so I'm going to select server as a survival Server map, which is going to be the map you select, which is just my test world. Permissions or users only logged. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about that. And then you click on create. 
and then you go to enter game. Now this is going to open back uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition, but it's going to be very, very different. Now if you want to talk to your friends, you can, and you can click hold to talk, which is on the right hand side. I'm not going to hold that because there's no one in my game, I have no friends. But we've also got this as well, which is where it's very important. So if we click on this, if I put this in the middle of the screen and click on this, this is where it becomes absolutely awesome. I mean really, really awesome. So if you've got your friends, you can invite your friends and also you can accept friends. You've got chat so you can chat to them. You've got settings so you can mute voice, hide voice icon, VIP entering and leaving animation and you've got the volume as well. Then you've got general settings and this is awesome because in game you can change it from survival to creative. You can change the time. You can change the rain. You can disable specific items if you wanted to. So I wanted to disable TNT, disable lava, and disable flint and steel because they're normally the griefing items. You can disable explosions, meaning that creepers won't explode. They will still be there, but they won't explode. You can disable lava and fire spread, meaning that people can't um, grief you. And if you want yours to be a non-PVP server, you can get rid of this. And you've also got block protection as well. So. It's absolutely awesome that you can do this. And this is what realms specifically need. And spe specifically, realms don't have this. And for example, maybe you feel like there's a griefer in the world. You can make a backup of your worlds and save them. You can also teleport as well. And it's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to be using this more often as well because it's just a good way to play with friends. And I just think overall, this is a great addition. It's kind of like an advanced version of Realms. And this is completely free. It costs me no money to do this. I haven't bought anything. I'm not going to buy anything. And it's just a good way to hang around with your friends. So overall, guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs it up. Add me if you want. It's just Echo Soldier. And as always, take care, stay beautiful, and have a great day. Bye!